how's it going? My name is Marina, I'm from Oregon, and today we're going to be doing a hitch installation on this Toyota 4Runner. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So right out of the box we can see that we have a three-piece hitch here. We've got two pieces for the driver and passenger side and then our center piece. Um, we're going to install these side pieces first. It's going to make it a little bit easier. And then right at the end we're going to put this center piece in and connect the two across the rear of the vehicle. There is quite a bit of hardware that comes with this so I recommend you get it organized before you get started. We've already done that for our installation today so I'm going to show you how to install this hitch. So let's take a look at our attachment points here. We have three mounting positions. Um, we have one hole towards the front in front of our leaf spring bracket, one right above it, and one at the very end of the frame rail. And after we get our hitch bracket into place, we're also going to drill one at the end of the frame rail here. And it's going to be the same on the passenger side as well. So we have our hitch bracket. Just make sure that this piece here is facing outwards away from the vehicle as the pieces can't go on the opposite side. You don't want to put it on backwards. We're just going to slide it up over the leaf spring bracket and make sure that this notch is fitting into our exhaust hanger bracket there. And you can see how those holes line up. You can rest it there for just a second while you get your hardware together. We're going to start with the rearmost piece of hardware which is just a bolt with a washer. And I have my nut in hand so I can secure it and it'll hold the bracket in place while I get the rest of my hardware together. So I'm just going to lean it up, insert my bolt, and just get the nut on there just enough to keep this bracket in place so it's not going to fall down. You want a little bit of room so that you can angle it because we do have some washers that are going to go between the hitch bracket and the frame. Now we're going to do the middle one of the three that I just showed you. So we have our bolt, our washer, I have this spacer here, and then our nut for the very end. This spacer is going to go between our hitch bracket and our frame rail. So I'm going to slide it up there into position. Again, you're going to angle it outwards like that so you can get everything to line up properly. Can insert your bolt and you may need to wiggle this around or tip it up to support the weight so the bolt can find the hole in the frame. This nut is going to go into the frame rail here. And what I'm going to do is just hold the nut in place with my hand here. I'm going to lift the hitch bracket just a little bit to take the weight off of it and I'm turning the bolt on the outside because we don't have quite as much room on the interior of that frame rail to turn that nut with our hand. We'll come back and tighten that down in a little bit. And then our frontmost bolt is the longer one. We've got three spacers with that. There's a longer spacer, a shorter square spacer and then this round spacer. And we're going to use some tape just to hold these together while we're getting this in place. This will help keep all your parts together so you're not trying to line up a bunch of different parts as you're getting it into position. It doesn't have to be tidy, it's just to hold them together. I'm going to run the bolt through just to make sure everything's aligned. And I'm going to slip this again in between our hitch bracket and our frame rail. Insert that through the frame. It feels like there's two holes in the frame, one on this side and one on this side, so just make sure that it goes all the way through, it'll be flush when it's all the way through like it should be. And then we'll take our nut. You can see the end of this bolt so it's easier than the one we just did. And just get that tight enough by hand. 
And all of this is exactly the same on the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. hitch bracket in place with the available mounting hole so we're going to use it as a template to drill our final mounting hole here. We're going to start with a smaller pilot hole. We're going to use a few different drill bits because this frame is a little bit thicker and we just want to make sure we get to the right size. our drill bit we're gonna just enlarge the pilot hole that we just drilled and we'll do one more larger drill bit after we complete this hole okay on to the next one now we have the largest bit we're gonna use this is going to make it the perfect size for our bolt okay now we're ready to do the same thing on the passenger side Okay, now we're ready for our hardware. So our final mounting hardware is going to be this carriage bolt with its carriage plate. We'll just insert it so it fits right in there with that little square. We'll just come right in from the top with our carriage bolt and the plate. There we go. And we'll attach our nut there. And we'll do the exact same thing on the passenger side. We have our carriage bolt and plate for the passenger side coming in from the top, just like on the driver's side. Perfect. And we'll tighten that down later. Next, we're going to put the cross tube in. We're going to be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to position this cross tube between the two brackets we just placed. If you're doing this at home, I recommend just having a friend help you so you don't hurt yourself. We're going to go ahead and get it between those two brackets here, raise it up just a little. Make sure we get it on the inside of those brackets there. This is why we haven't tightened anything down yet. We need just a little bit of room to get that hitch in place around those brackets. As you can see, I'm kind of having to hold this in place just to slip that through under the inner side. There we go. So we're gonna start on the passenger side here because we already have our mounting holes lined up. You see we have three, one at the top and two at the bottom. And we have our hardware, which is going to be the same for all three holes on this side and on our driver's side. We just have a bolt with a washer and a nut. The bolt's going to go on the outer side here. Slide that through. Put your nut on to hold this in position. And we'll do the same for all the other attachment points. So now we're going to put our hardware on the driver's side. If you're having trouble lining up our bracket and our center tube here, um, you can loosen any of the horizontal hardware we put into the frame earlier, or you can use a lineup tool. Um, if you don't have anything like this, you can also use a sturdy screwdriver or something like that to get your holes into position here. But now we're all lined up and we're going to use the same hardware that we did on the passenger side. Get that snug on there and then put the other two bolts in. Thank you. 
So now we have all our hardware loosely in place and we can start torquing down. So now we're ready to start torquing down all our hardware. Um, all of the bolts here are torqued to 110 foot-pounds, so we have our torque wrench set to that. We're going to start with these side bolts here on the cross tube, and I'm just using a 19 millimeter wrench to hold the nut on the end while I'm tightening down this bolt here. You can see as I'm tightening, it's starting to pull these two pieces together, so eventually they're going to sit nice and flush. So we're just tightening until we hear that torque wrench click. That means we've hit 110. Perfect. Now we can go and do the hardware that's in the frame rail up there. So next we're going to torque down the bolts that we put into the frame rail up here. I'm just going to start with the front and work my way back. And you're just going to wait until you hear that click like that and we are going to move over to the next bolt. We're doing the middle one in the frame rail here. And then move on to the rearmost bolt. It's that nice click. And then we're going to come from the underside so that we can get our bolt under here. We're going to add an extension so we can reach it. We hear that click. That means we've hit 110 and we're ready to move to the passenger side. So we're just going to start with the bottom one. So you hear that click and then I'll remove our extension since we have less clearance on the side of the rail. And again I'm going to start with the front most. Moving to the center bolt up there. And then our final bolt on the rail up here. And there we go. And that concludes our installation of this receiver hitch on this Toyota 4Runner. Um, I love this vehicle. I think this hitch looks great under this nice straight bumper. Um, it comes up just under there. It's the perfect amount of space. It doesn't come out too far. The two inch receiver looks great there. And we have our safety chain loops right there, nice and easy to access. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Marina. Have fun, be safe, enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.